illuminated with those LED lights. The 41s is certainly much darker and tougher to see. Dale Earnhardt Jr. up against the wall. Something wrong with the 88. He got Higher. stuck up against the wall and now dragging on the right front. Two, stay up there. Stay up there. Three more cars. Two more cars. One more car. Clear, clear, clear to the bottom here. No caution yet. Looks like right front, Greg. No caution. This is going to create a lot of damage as he drives around. That interliner tire is trying to hold the car up a little bit, but these cars are set up so low to the asphalt. Without having that outer tire, it's dragging the splitter. You see right here, he's up top, right in front of Paul Menard, and he's all the way up. It, I can't tell if there's contact with the 27 or if the tire's like down before. Right rear flat. Going into the corner of the right front flat. You heard him, he thought he had a right rear flat. So the reason the 27 was on his bumper is Dale Jr. felt he had a flat tire and he was trying to go into the corner a little slow. Dale Jr.'s coming to pit road. Kyle Larson also on pit road right now. And this is, there's a lot of damage on the 88, a lot of aerodynamic, the fender's pushed in, the tire's flat, and more importantly, he's just continuing to lose time relative to the field. Kelly. And it was just a quick stop down here on the 42 as they tried to assess some of that where he just goes to the top and everybody f follows. Oh, around goes the four of Kevin Harvick. Harvick spins around. Dale Earnhardt Jr. is involved. Brad Keselowski involved. Smoke coming out of the 32 of Matt DiBenedetto. Blew a tire, that's what it looked like. The four just snap spun like a tire went down right in the middle of traffic. You see the 88 bouncing along the back stretch wall. That tells me that something's probably broken in the front suspension. Take another look. At about 190 mile an hour. You see the four car wiggle, turns around quickly, right in front of her. No, nothing anybody can do. All the smoke can't see. Hope you get through it. I'm amazed more cars in, aren't in an accident like that, Rick, as tightly as their bunch going through the corner. Right here, you're on board with Kevin Harvick, middle of the corner, wide open. Hey, Dave, you're going here. Hey, get me here. Put a tire or something. Hold your brake. Just a snap spin, and then the reaction behind him. And even the spotter in an accident. Calm as could be on the radio. Calm as he could be. Stay on the brake. Oh, that's there. how quick that happened. Coming, buddy. Coming. We're in it, Greg. Might be okay here. There's still wrecking back there in your mirror there. Just flip it around here. We'll take a look at it. Can't get off the wall. No, I bet the right front tie rod or something in the right front suspension is broken. You see, he's turning the wheel left, but the car is going right. So the car spins around right there. It sandwiches up to the 88. The 5 of Casey Kane makes an evasive maneuver, goes to the bottom. How about the 41 of Kurt Busch? A hard left to miss Casey Kane. Another hard left to miss the spinning 2 of Brad Keselowski. I don't think Kane or Keselowski ever hit anything. I think they're going to be okay if they can get around without damaging their cars. Marty. And you see Dale Earnhardt Jr., the 88, sitting on pit road. What an incredible effort for the team. He had gotten back up to six after the accident earlier in the evening. And he said the steering wheel absolutely upside down on the 88. Going to be tough to get this car back in the race here this evening. Meanwhile, Brad Kozlowski, you're right, Jeff. No damage on that two car. Going to hit pit road here. Going to be four fresh Goodyear tires and see if they can gain some track position. A problem, though, on the right side of that car right now. Yeah, they've got quite a few problems with the 88 team. We ride along with the back cab taking a look at this accident. Darrell Wallace getting by. He's done a nice job staying clean. And really, Steve, you said it. It's amazing that more cars weren't involved in this. Great driving as the pit road's open. Dave. Jamie McMurray is on pit road. Confirmed with the crew that they will not work on that right front at all. They will change two right side tires. Right side tires for Kenseth as well. Kelly. And the rookie Ty Dillon also came in. It was a two tire call. Jimmy Johnson in that 48 is going to take four fresh Goodyears and some, some Sunoco fuel. Pretty impressive run there for Matt Kenseth. They pick up three spots on pit road with that two-tire stop. Very close to being inside the fuel window. Yeah, we saw fuel come into play in February with 53 to go. It could absolutely come into play tonight. Another big one happening up front. This time it's Kevin Harvick blowing a tire right in front of the field. We go NASCAR nonstop. Right, let's hear from Dale Earnhardt Jr. He just got out of the infield care center. A lot of guys. 
and he's come to visit us. And uh, I don't know where to start with this night, Junior. I mean, when you got back up to six there, were you thinking we might have a shot at this thing? Oh, yeah. As soon as we got our lap back, I knew that, you know, anything was possible. And uh, we just kind of drafting right up back through there. And I think the forward got a flat and uh, just really had nowhere to go. Um, but it was it was fun. Uh, we had a pretty strong car. It had some gremlins in there. I'm not sure what was going on with that, but uh, we had the tow in messed up. That first deal, um, we brushed the wall a couple laps earlier, and I thought everything was okay. And then I come through the travel, and it was it had a right front going down, and it was trying to spin out. And so I was trying to lift, and, and really nothing I could do because there's guys, so many guys behind me, and we got into one and hit the wall. But the guys worked on the car. We got our last back, and was about to have some more fun, get back up in there, mix it up, and uh, then that happened with a four. But uh, it's been a wild night. I didn't, I didn't anticipate this much action and this much, you know, torn up sheet metal. But um, there's still a lot of racing left. This might not be the last one at Daytona. You never know. But the emotion of this whole evening, if you can kind of sum it up, when we were riding around earlier and you were waving all the fans, you said you didn't expect this. Why? I just didn't expect all that attention. Um, all week, my phone buzzing all day long with social media going crazy and. Um, everybody talking about this being my last Daytona race. I hope every weekend ain't like this as far as that goes. I mean, um, but the, the, the attention and reaction from the fans uh, makes me feel great. And uh, hopefully we're able to uh, turn that around and uh, back on them the rest of the season and thank them for everything they've done. But I wish we could have had a good finish tonight, lift not a win. We were working up in there and, and having a good time and being aggressive and uh, wearing out the sides of that race car, but just wasn't to be. I know you wanted this one for the fans more than anything, right, Junior? Everything we do is for the fans. Um, you know, when we come here and, and won that three Wrangler car, that was for Daddy's fans. Uh, when we won here in 01, that was for all our fans, all his fans. Um, that's They're all here. Look, you know, the Grand Sins is full. Everything we're doing today and uh, all the things that are happening for the rest of this race are for the fans. So um, hopefully, I think they're getting a great show tonight. I asked him what it was like this evening. He said, you know what? It felt good to run good, Rick. Didn't, didn't finish like he wanted, but he did run well tonight. Yeah, disappointment. The way it ends, Dale Earnhardt Jr.